Now, y'all know I had to come to Walmart and get the ingredients to make the seafood ball kebabs that's been floating all over my timeline ever since I made the seafood ball ramen. It's something about boiling the whole ocean that gets me excited. I want to put a carfish ball down one of the ocean's volcanoes and eat me a piece of that submarine. Let's go ahead and focus on what we need to get done to make these seafood ball kebabs come to life. In the S, I'm going to add octopus legs. Oh my octopus god. Quick, quick. First let's boil some water with some butter, a cap of crawfish ball, and every seasoning that we use in the seafood ball ramen. If you don't boil your corn on the cob and your potatoes in seasoned faucet water, then you don't deserve corn on the cob and potatoes. Y'all, please open y'all horizons some. Come on now, think about it. You eat coochie and wiener mac wing wings, but y'all won't eat mayonnaise on your burgers. Now there's two ways to cook this shrimp, but me personally, I like to season my shrimp. Ooh, I know that's salty, but you don't know your salty is crazy. We got the corn and potatoes, the shrimp and the octopusy, and I seasoned my sausage. That corn hot, I damn near need a hammer. This corn just ain't, oh, I just poked myself, I'm poked. I'm really a gangster. I done earned my stripes. I had it right here, went straight through my hand. Well, it ain't go through my hand, but thank God. I mean, I still got a hand for it to go through. I still got some more left. Now we got our little situation plated. Top it off with a little bit more of that butter. Bake it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -mm. Don't you run from it, Taylor. Let me get some of this pussy. Mm -mm. That's boss. 